All right, we'll go through the points one by one, you guys. First frame jump at the start of the first Hammer Brother battle in World 1. Okay? So, this point is the exact same as the World 3 level 1 jump. Okay? We've moved it. We've moved it from 3-1 to the first Hammer Brother battle in World 1. Spice things up, change things up a little bit so we can do... This allows me to do more things with World 3 and a lot and, and have more things going on in World 1. Are you guys ready for the second point? This one is a brand new, very interesting point. There's gonna be a lot of questions, all right? You guys are gonna... I'm forcing you guys to do something that you've never had to do before. And um, before I show you guys the point, I did test this on my own and I did manage to get a second try, first time ever trying it. I got it second try. It's gonna take practice, but it's so doable, okay? So here we go, here's the next point. Complete the first airship while ducking until the pipe transition. Hold duck while Mario starts climbing the anchor. It doesn't have to be exactly when Mario starts climbing the anchor. It's just as soon as you land on that airship, you already want to be in the ducking animation, okay? If I see Mario's face for one frame, you guys do not get that point. The Medusa point. There you go. So as you guys can see, the side shows right here. It shows you what world that these points are applicable in, right? So if this only says World 1, this only works in World 1, right? So that is a new change to the format as well. So, skillful objective. World 4 is gain early P-Speed in 442. If you want to build P-Speed as early as you possibly can, by all means, you can go for it. If you want to do the earliest tool-assisted build, that's fine. But the, the P-Speed that most everyone knows that I'm talking about, except for Maru. Maru's the only person who doesn't know what I'm talking about right now. Is the P-Speed right as you hit, like, the dry bones. You guys know which P-Speed I'm talking about. Now, this next point is pretty interesting because you are in a speed run, right? You are trying to get time points right there. World 5. No overworld bumps, stuns, stutters, or bonks. For the entire world. If you don't bump... Stutter or stun in World 5, you get a point. Dude, there's not a single half point. Not after last season. World 5 again. Another World 5 point. Get a 281 time or higher in the Twisty Castle. Skillful objective. Get those pipe entries, guys. Practice your pyramids. Practice your Twisty Castles. If you need to use a star, that can really help you get a 281. The next one, there's not a whole lot to talk about. Get a 279 or higher in 641. All right. So we have three P-Speed points in the tournament, which is pretty good. Get the 643 clip. That's worth two points. And we all know that one is not done very often, but if it is done, you deserve the points. All right. Next point. Get the mid clip in 79 and you get two tries for it. And you get two tries because I love you guys. So welcome to World 8's skillful objective just for you guys. <laughs> this one I have done and I am going to enjoy watching you guys all do this. This is going to be probably my favorite point. Why do you hate us, Mitch? Why? We are now moving on to risky objectives. You have to claim one fire flower from any mushroom house in the game between worlds one and seven. R yes, risky objectives, RNG objectives. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what they are. You can only get one fire flower from mushroom house per race. If you get it, then you get the point. But if you go to your first mushroom house and you don't get it, you can try another mushroom house if you want. But do you want to? Every mushroom house is about 10 seconds. Get a flower, star, mushroom in that order for the end level cards, one time per race. So this objective officially starts after the fortress in World 2. I love that you guys are interested in this. All right, next risky objective. Worlds 2 and 8, kill both the suns. And of course we have door 3, risky objective. Only in World 5 must you match a mushroom in the spade roulette game. It's not that hard guys, but there's two spade games in World 5. I think there's actually three. So you can, you have multiple attempts. Oh my god, finally Mitch, thank you. You do not have to get 7-1 first try. You're welcome guys, it's because I love you. 
Okay, but you only get five tries. That's it. Okay? You only get five tries. So practice your seven ones, guys. This point is interesting because almost everyone who plays Mario 3 tries to do this anyways. So I, I figured I'd make it a point so that if, it, if you didn't do it, get wrecked, noob, get better. Don't lose any power up in World 8. Do not lose it. You're allowed to switch. You can switch if you want. If for some reason you enter World 8 with a tail and you get the fire flower on the tank, th that's okay, right? That's okay. You're allowed to switch. The rewards. Here comes some RNG, guys. Deathless. You guys all know this one. This one was in season one. This is where it gets rolling. This one is one of the hardest ones, but also one of the most distracting. Don't let two of the same items touch in your inventory. This one, <laughs> every speedrunner hates World 2. If you get all movements of two in World 2, you get a point. So you're welcome, guys. Okay, so next point in Worlds 3, 5, and 6. Fight a Hammer Brother on a special tile. Remember, guys, you don't have to go for all these points, right? That's the whole point in practicing. You pick and choose. If this happens, I want to go for this. If this happens, I want to go for that. This one's very passive. Fight P-Wing Hammer Brother after the Cloud Bro in that order. That's it. It's got to be in that order. If you get screwed over by the star, which happens to every single person. If you get the P-Wing after the Cloud, which happens to every single person. It happens. It is what it is. So here comes another one. Get only low hammer bro patterns in world six. Mmm, world six, my favorite. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Get the fire skip clip in world six airship. You're welcome. You guys wanted it. I don't even care about this clip. You guys love this clip. Everyone's obsessed with this stupid ass clip. It's the best worst clip of the game. It does nothing for you, but everyone loves it. All right, you have it. Take it. I don't want it. And then, of course, if you decide to use Fire Flower, you should be rewarded. So Rangless Fire Kill is still in the tournament. What is that, Mitch? There is a new category. What? I'm testing the waters, guys. I'm testing the waters with the wild category, okay? Finish the run with exactly 20 lives. Unlimited lives tricks are banned. If you finish the run with more than 20 lives, you lose a point. Because I love you guys so freaking much, you're welcome. You are welcome. Your Mario 3 God has spoken. If you get bad RNG in World 8, you guys are rewarded. Yes, you're welcome. Next category, which is the standard category, penalties. Worlds 1 to 8, any triple card fanfare, each minus one point, okay? Deaths, minus one point after the first death. I fixed last season's mistake. Next two points, you guys already know these penalties very easy run time over an hour minus one point and your run ends right then and there if you forfeit you lose one point yes you guys already know this one getting a coin ship by simply spawning it lose one point for each coin ship in level four three anytime lower than a 289 in game clock you lose a point get those four three strats going guys Intentionally entering a hand stage, whether it be entering it with an A press and trying to get all three hands, all right, versus going back and forth across the hands and trying to get pulled in. Nice try, Teeks. Nice try. So that's it for the points, guys. But we have one more thing. Life line. One time only. Just use it and say hi to me then, yeah. And then you don't, you don't get it for the rest of the tournament. That is it. All right. That is uh, that is the points for season two. They are already in Discord and they are already publicly available to everyone. I don't know about you guys, but I am very, very excited. 